Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to talk about a card that is very unusual. It is a card that, you know, off the bat you think it sucks. It is the Tournament Medic. You know, this card is very unusual because it's not a good card. You know, let's let's just let's just get around that. You know, a 1-8 statted 4 mana card is just not good enough and the ability needs to be outrageous which, well, is why this video is here. It really shows how important healing is in the game. Uh, I have played this card a few times in the last few weeks in Arena, and I've realized that it's really quite good. It fits a role that's very difficult to normally fill. It's that in Arena, and obviously in Constructed as well, there's a lot of very marginal games where healing just a little bit makes all the difference in a game. And and this is like the ultimate grinder card. You know, it's a card that when it's played, your opponent will not want to commit 8 damage to killing it, even though they can, because, well, if they do commit that much damage to kill it, it basically proves its worth. It's basically like, uh, let's say, a taunt minion. It's a minion that is killed throughout the game. And if you play this early enough, sometimes it has that effect, but that's not really what you want. What you want to happen to turn the medic is you play it, your opponent ignores it, and trust me, from my experience, they will ignore it. They will be like, ah, yeah, maybe they'll heal once or twice. And then what ends up happening is they ignore it for turn after turn after turn, and they realize the card's healed for like 12, and it's still on the board, and it's still killing two drops left and right. And then, you know, what do you do? So it, it is a, it's a card that is really um, underrated, especially when it's played within the game. And um, healing is so important, and it's something that we realized in a few tournaments uh, recently uh, with alternate rule sets. Um, we noticed how, just how amazing Earthen Ring Farseer is in every single deck. Uh, literally, you put this guy in your deck, and it is amazing. Uh, you look at the card, and it is not so amazing. It doesn't look very amazing. But it is because Hearthstone has such a ridiculous cost on, like, heal minions. Either they're, they're just not good enough, they're too slow. Even Antique Healbot, people think, you know, uh, aggro will dominate because Antique Healbot is not in the game. Antique Healbot sucks. Like... Healing for 8, but playing a useless minion for 5 mana is ridiculously bad. So all of them are like this, but in a lot of games, it is very important to get that little bit of healing, and it's so important that cards with, that really do suck, like Anti-Healbot, actually become the, the win or loss condition of a particular match. Now, Tournament Medic is exactly that. Plus, it's very underrated on the board. And I've seen this card single-handedly win game after game, and you really have to pay attention to it. It's, it's like you look at the game, you don't really understand why you won. You look at the game again, and you realize that Tournament Medic did a lot more than what you thought it had. So I wanted to show you guys some of the games that I'm talking about. I want to show you guys um, so you guys can realize how important it is to have healing in your deck and how important it is to uh, ultimately evaluate the worth of any particular card. Because when it comes to Tournament Medic, from now on, I'm going to be the player killing that minion right off the bat. And because I do that, it's basically going to be like a 10 heal. I mean, that's great. Basically, the card is pretty good in a lot of situations. A lot of, a lot of other situations, your opponent will just keep zerging you down, so it's not an objectively good card, but it is a card that in a marginal grind-out situation, if you have a lot of other early game cards to support it with, to challenge the board, to have a board presence, it is the card that can actually win you the game, and you wouldn't expect it to. So, show you guys the games, see what I'm talking about, I hope you guys enjoy them, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You didn't have lethal if I killed the 6-5. Yeah, but I couldn't kill the 6-5. Yeah, we're gonna start out a little bit of a life deficit, but hey, what can you do? This 
guy's toast. Oh. oh, that could backfire really hard. That fucking egg, dude. Some spell damage. Maybe that'll work. It was a pretty good coin. Yep. Oh, six damage, really. For the Lich King! Feed the fish, land lover. That was dumb, wasn't it? That was a really shitty play. for those late game cards. down. I'm gonna throw it all back, hope to get like a two drop and a three drop. A little bit of negative synergy going on there. You know your trunk can be good. It's a card you usually play when you see a big weapon come down. My wargans have been pretty healthy so far. Best play is the Mad Bomber, but that might really fail. Actually, gather a lot of spells for the Flame Waker. Well met. Draw. 
Right. That's pretty nice. Something needs tinkering? Oh man, the machine gun is about to begin. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. Alright, let's do it. Damn, that shit's real weak. Really? Die! Oh, come on! That was 11 missiles. 11 missiles. What? Fuck that. It survived 13 missiles. Yes! Missile number 15? Or is it 13? Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ready, sir. Boss down. Again, I haven't drawn almost any of my big minions. Uh, hopefully we do. Can I explain that move? I was thinking of freezing, but if I freeze, I can't play the Toad because he gets a free kill with that, so... A lot of issues. Fine, I'll won. The reverse freeze. Super good draw. May have been like the best draw on the deck. Bad to draw. I should have silenced the spider. Nah. He's one card ahead, but I have a big life lead. Mostly late game in my deck. Feed the fish, land lover. Not late game, but first kill. You drew pretty well there. Oh, speaking of good draws. That's a great draw.